Trevor Bower's 27-minute phone call with accuser following sexual encounter revealed. Bower was originally suspended 324 games. A phone call between former Los Angeles Dodgers pitcher Trevor Bower and his accuser, Lindsey Hill, about their sexual encounter was released on YouTube Thursday. The two settled their legal dispute earlier this week, and the pitcher released damning messages from Hill to her friends. A friend told Hill to secure the bag after seeing Bauer's net worth was $51 million. Hill also called a star pitcher for the For the Dodgers her next victim. The two begin the May 22, 2021 phone call with Hill congratulating Bower on his 11 strikeout performance from the night before. The YouTube description says the call was covertly recorded by police as two officers sat next to Hill during the discussion. Bower asks how Hill was feeling, and she said she was having a tough time and was trying to process how it even happened. The two seem confused as to how Hill's facial injuries came about. Bower said Hill asked him to hit her, and the two discussed a safe word. I would never do that to you outside of what we had talked about, Bower says. Hill said the encounter was blurry for her as she was going in and out of consciousness. So, I did ask you to hit me? Hill asks. Yeah, Bower responded. Hill said she was in a lot of pain and didn't recall asking Bower to hit her. Bower said he didn't feel like I hit you that hard. I tried telling you multiple times, do you want to stop? Are you okay? And you said to keep going. So, I just was trying to follow your lead on it, Bauer said. That was never the point of it. In the call, Hill explained she had two black eyes and a swollen jaw and was in the hospital. She later said she had a concussion. When she asked Bauer what they talked about beforehand in terms of boundaries, Bauer said she said something about slapping in the face. We talked about, like, how you kind of, how you felt like going out and like coming back. And you had said that you want to do it again because you felt good. Like it made you feel good, Bauer told Hill. I'll never cross boundaries with you. Hill said she never said it was a free for all the punching and all the stuff that resulted in me being in the hospital. Bauer replied by saying he asked her multiple times if she was okay, which was his way of checking he wasn't crossing any boundaries. Hill says she eventually said the safe word because she was in so much pain when you were hitting the top of my vagina. Later, she says, she didn't want punching. I never thought that that's what it was going to be, you know? Because we just hadn't, like, talked about that, Hill says. I understand that, for sure. Boer replies, later adding there was a miscommunication. That was not my intent. Hill then says she knew nothing about rough sex and asks Bauer, How could you think that's okay? I was under the impression that you had, like, had rough sex before. Because you had said that, that it's like kind of your way of escaping, Bower says. So, I should have clarified that and talked to you more about it and really got on the same page with you about that. Bower says he got the impression she wanted to be punched since she told him she wanted to be slapped and choked. He then said Hill told him fingers down the throat was off limits. Hill said she didn't remember Bower asking her if she was okay throughout the encounter. The 2020 ALC Young Award winner was initially suspended for the equivalent of two full seasons by Major League Baseball, but that was shortened to 194 games. He played the 2023 season in Japan. Now, over the last two years, I've been forced to defend my integrity and my reputation in a very public setting, but hopefully this is the last time I have to do so, as I'd prefer to just remain focused on doing my job, winning baseball games and entertaining fans around the world, he said earlier this week. So today I'm happy to be moving on with my life.